Hello friends, welcome to Electronics Engineering Exclusive. Today we exclusively bring you the BRC question paper which was held today that is on 22nd March 2017. To watch these kind of exclusive stuff from Electronics Engineering, please subscribe to our channel. Also I want to clarify one thing that these questions are based on the memory of the student who appeared this examination. So let's start. Before going to the actual question, let's discuss some main points. Uh, first main point is that analog plus EDC plays the major contribution in this paper. Around 25 question was asked from analog and EDC, in which around 15 question was asked from analog alone. Next is that measurement was almost negligible. No question was asked from measurement. Uh, third is that digital signal and control system were very easy. Three question was asked from mathematics also in which two questions was from probability and one from complex integration. We will see that also. So let's start. Uh, first we will discuss about the digital part in which uh, one question was asked about the two's complement of minus 24. Uh, next question was asked these type of figure was given tell that after 8 clock pulse what will be the output and a left shift register was given. ADC and DAC plays the major part of the digital around 5 question was asked from ADC and DAC. 1-1 one, one question from MUX, KMAP and chip select memory question. Next we will discuss about the EDC in which 1 question was asked from MOS capacitor, 1 from tunnel diode, 3rd from uh, junction capacitance. These 3 are was theoretical question. 1 numerical was asked from JFET and 1 numerical was asked from MOSFET in which VGS, VT and IT was given and then VGS was raised by 1 volt and they are asked to calculate about the ID. You can get an idea of this question. We are not giving the exact question. Uh, next is 8085 in which one question was asked which interrupt is positive edge triggered. They were given four options of uh, various uh, interrupts. Next was MVI A, 22H RLC LLC. This command is given and they ask how it behaves. Like it is, is it multiply by 2 or multiply by 4. Next was signal system. It was very easy. Uh, one question was convolution, simple convolution. They was asked about the expression of Yn and the block diagram was given as shown. Next was a uh, diagram was given like that and expression was asked for Yn. One question was to find the power of the signal E raised for J omega naught T into cos omega naught T. Uh, analog was the major contributor in which around 7 question was asked from OPAM alone. So one question was a log amplifier was given and they given output V1, V02 corresponding to, to the V in 2 volt and 6 volt and they want the relation of V01 and V02. Next a question was given in which all the data except VM was given and they was asked for VM. You can just put all the data in the formula and you, you will get the value of VM. One question was asked this integrator was given and they asked for the cutoff frequency. Two question was asked from CMRR and one question was asked from differential amplifier. There was also one question from current mirrors. So you can study it accordingly. One question was asked uh, this figure was given and they asked the relation between VO and VS. And uh, another question was asked and they given up potential divider bias and every value was given and they asked for IC. The question was easy but lengthy because uh, the values are given very awkward and the students told me that the calculator was not uh, acting so fast. Next uh, there in computer networks part one question was asked from checksum and two three question was asked from TCP IP model in which transport layer was mostly focused. Uh, in C programming, a code was given and output was asked. In mathematics, a complex integration was given and they want the value of that integration. Uh, in the probability, two question was asked. An idea was given as shown. You can judge which type of question and uh, solve it accordingly. So next is a control system. One question was given, non-unity feedback system was given and they asked for steady state error. One question is from route array in which some uh, condition from K asked for stability. One question in which everything is given and they ask for the centroid. It is from root locus. Uh, one question 
in which a system was given then they put some derivative controller in the, that system and then they ask for damping ratio and like this kind of stuff talking about the emt part emt includes two three question from transmission line one question from vswr and Brewster angle was also asked main part is that no antenna and radar question was asked measurement was almost nil one question is asked from thermistor some uh, temperature coefficient was asked you can include that part in analog also so we can say measurement was nil so this is it from this video we are talking to some more students if we will get more feedback we will get back to you on this channel so please subscribe to our channel like share and comment on this video to get latest updates from my channel thanks for watching